What's up guys? Welcome to another video which contains an antic case and uh, today we have something quite familiar because a couple of days ago or maybe a week ago I covered almost the exact same case. And uh, today we're going to go with uh, DP20CE from Antec, which is basically almost the same case, but it has a solid panel on the side, so no tempered glass. It's, I think I mentioned that in the P20C where I stated that it has a nice minimalistic design and it could, if it had more hard drive cages, act like, um, let's say, a server version or something like that. So basically what we got here is a case that you can't see the interior and for some of you guys I know this isn't the best way to have a case on your table but the fact is behind it that it kind of has a certain position for it. So for you guys that actually have uh, your PC on the floor or at least you have something to raise it up a bit from the floor and you don't care or you don't want to look at the inner part of your PC, this is the way to go. It should be cheaper because tempered glass comparing to steel solid panel costs much more. So yeah, there's that. But the fact that we have almost the same case, we have almost the same configuration. So three 120 millimeter fans on front, possibility for a 360 at the top, 280 or 240, the same thing goes on the front. We have a nice possibility in the power supply shroud with loads of space for cables and a huge power supply. And of course, we also have hard drive cage. Uh, the front panel is exactly the same. You have to remove the front panel to get the access to your dust filter. You remove the dust filter and you get the access to the fans, which is quite all right. When we're talking about dust filters, you have a magnetic dust filter on the top and you have quite easy to remove a smaller dust filter for your power supply. Uh, mentioning all of that, I totally forgot when we were talking about the back side that you have loads of space for cable management and uh, I think I mentioned that in the P20C review. Now in this build what I did is basically I did the exact same build except for the GPU since it's finally time to switch from RTX 3070 but uh, right here since I have the AMD processor I placed the AMD graphic card. So in this build we have the AMD Ryzen 5 5600G, Sapphire Radeon RX 6650 XT and that's it for the main components that we're going to test today. But from Antec, and I didn't state that uh, right from the beginning, we're going to use the same products we did last time. So right here at the top I have Vortex 360 addressable RGB and I know you can't see it because it's a solid panel but let me just do like so so to show you basically what it is. Here we go. So we have the Vortex 360 addressable RGB AIO placed on top with fusion fans and I use from the triple pack another fusion fan right here at the back even though it doesn't make any sense since we have the solid panel so it won't be seen but after all you have a solid panel you don't have to switch off your RGB and that's basically it. In addition to and in comparison to the past build we use the Neo Echo uh, NE 850G M power supply fully modular of course. Right here we have the same thing Neo Echo NE750 this time GM fully modular 750 80 plus gold power supply. It's fully modular you can adjust the cables that you basically need for your build so in past build RTX 3070 had to have two 8 pin PCI cables now I need only one so you can unplug 
the other one because you don't need it and uh, the EPS is the same 24 pin is the same and in this build I don't need any SATA power so basically what you get here is a nice power supply the same thing as the 850 watts but with lower wattages and the Vortex 360 and you already know everything about it I'll place uh, the videos for the Vortex and for the P20C at the end of the video so you can check it out. But bear with me until the end of this one so you could uh, learn more about the P20CE. Now, as on P20C, you get possibility to mount two additional fans here on the power supply shroud. You have loads of openings on the power supply shroud to reorganize your cables to your liking. And you have quite nice space when we're talking about the whole interior for instance, for your GPU or for the CPU tower cooler height or anything similar to that. The cool thing about the AIO is, well, basically the case and it resembles to the P20C and next to the P20C. The AIO is placed fully on the front, so you have loads of space here, so you don't have to worry about high profile RAMs. And this is quite cool because it gives you loads of space, you can still do the cable management and reorganize EPS cables even after you place the AIO. Thermals on this one with of course closed panel in AIDA 64 Extreme Edition CPU FPU cache system memory went up to 69 degrees Celsius while the GPU stayed at 53 which is quite surprised. Uh, and we need to take into consideration RTX uh, 3070 Supreme X actually went up to 6062, which is still normal for that GPU. But this was quite a shock, I do have to admit. Now, uh, taking everything into consideration, 5600G at 69 degrees Celsius, I think it could go lower. And I think I saw some other AIOs cooling it down a bit lower, at least around 65. But all in all, I would say it's... Uh, basically to your liking if you don't like to see the interior of the build you can go with the solid panel and choose that way and basically place it on the floor or as I stated at the beginning of the video something to raise it up so it's not directly on the floor or if you really like to check out the interior of the build check out the RGB and actually have something uh, that kind of goes along with your setup and that basically gives additional shine to everything you, you will go with tempered glass there's literally no difference in the configuration of the fans uh, in the space inside cable management and everything from p20c to p20c they just gave us you guys basically uh, some possibilities to adjust everything to your liking in terms of choosing the right case for you and uh, that's that's all there is to it now i did test something so the solid panel can go from p20c to p20c but tempered glass panel can't go from P20C to P20C because it needs like half a millimeter of space right here or at the bottom, it doesn't really matter, uh, to be placed on both cases. So you do need to take that into consideration while, uh, well, basically the panels aren't sold separately. So yeah, there's that. Now, all in all, as I stated at the P20C video about uh, my opinion on the case, it really does resemble to past ante cases, but here they refreshed the front panel into something more minimalistic, more, I would say, serious, not too much into gaming aggressive design and still gives us a nice airflow because it is nicely ventilated on the front. The IO ports on the top are the same thing as uh, on the past case that I mentioned. So power on button, reset button, two 3.5 millimeter jacks for your headset, basically for your audio and microphone, two USB 3.0 and one USB type C. I have to mention this again. I really do appreciate Entech placing a type C port on their cases, which basically kind of gives more value to the case, not in terms of uh, being more expensive, but uh, bringing some new ports which are mostly used now and giving us an opportunity to take them more into consideration than before. So yeah, there's that. All in all, what I can say is if you don't like RGB, but you still need some AIO or anything similar to that that actually lights up, you could always turn the lights off. But if you don't like tempered glass and you're afraid that it will break if you do something wrong, here we got a solution. 
just close it up and you don't see anything that's it so it's more like a PC build that isn't in a visible space and you don't want to spend extra money on tempered glass you can always go with Antec P20C which kind of gives the same thermal approach as the P20C the only thing that I would say is a bit of a shame is that they didn't place any dampening uh, pad on the side steel panel which would be much appreciated because after all we're talking about a case that you don't see anything inside and why not add the dampening foam or dampening pad or whatever just to lower the decibels uh, a bit more and give it uh, somewhat uh, music production or something similar to that PC case yeah that's all there is to it so I'll place the links below as per usual for the first of all Antec Vortex 360 addressable RGB so you can check out the price and all the information that you need to know about it and of course you can check out the video about it at the end of this one then next to it we have the Antec Neo Echo NE750GM fully modular power supply which I don't have a separated video because after all it's going to be tested and it's going to produce quite normal voltages but it's a fully modular 80 plus gold power supply and you've seen it already in the 850 version in the past video and the link is below as well and finally the star of the show P20C non-tempered glass steel version which you could uh, check also in the description and if you want to lower down the decibels you could always do it yourself and place some dampening pads on the side maybe eventually on the front giving you some more acoustic uh, silence while placing this case into somewhat a uh, music or any other production studio that's all for today guys thank you for watching another antex video and hopefully you'll check out others that are coming quite shortly my name is dario from pc crazy don't forget to subscribe don't forget to click the thumbs up button and notification bell to see you next time bye bye